Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Julie of Julie's Plans. In today's video, I'm going to be going over the brand new Erin Condren Soft Bound Academic Planner. So if you watched my video on Tuesday, I shared some details about the academic planner that starts in August on the coil. This is a product that Erin Condren has had before, but this year they are introducing it in the soft bound version. Now, I did mean to include it in that video, but I misunderstood an email about some misinformation about the product product and thought I wasn't supposed to show it and that wasn't the case. So that's totally on me. But I wanted to share this with you today since they do launch today if you want to get a closer look at it. So again, like I said, these launch today, June 11th. It comes in four colors, rose gold as you see here, peacock, camel in the focused version, and gray also in the focused version. So as you can see, I have the rose gold. This is an A5 size planner. It's such a great size, really a great size. The rose gold and the peacock have the same inside, so it's not that focused, very simple, um, you know, neutral colorway. These are colorful, but they're not like over the top colorful. They have this beautiful outline of the mid-century circles pattern that Erin Condren has brought back this year. Now the cover can be personalized. Mine did not come personalized, but you can get them um, stamped. I don't know the number of characters you can have. I know in the past it's only been like three to five or so, or maybe just two for like some initials, that type of thing. So you'll have to check when you go to order. Um, now these are dated August through December. You don't have quite as many options as the coiled version. So you're only gonna be able to get August 2020 through December 2021. So you do get more than a year, but you're not getting the option to start in September or things like that. Okay, so when you open it up, you're gonna start right here. It says Erin Condren Academic Planner and you can put your name and your school if you're using it for school. So this page right here has the year at a glance, um, just like the coiled version. And then you jump right into a line page. You have a page for your class schedule. And as you can see, you have the mid-century circles pattern up there at the top. So you have a place for your schedule, your courses, teacher location credits, and some additional notes right here. And then you have another part. So I guess you could do like the first half of the year and then second half of the year, if that's how your school schedule works and you have a class schedule here as well. And then another lined notes page. Now flipping through just like this one, um, just like the coiled one, you do have the title page and a notes page. It's literally just like a baby version of the coiled planner. So you're gonna have all the same features, just in a, a smaller size, A5 size. Definitely more portable. Um, you're not losing out on any features. As you can see, the months are pretty much the same. Everything is just scaled down for this size. So you have your August goals, events, and notes, projects and exams. And then it starts immediately on July 27th. Each day has lined, let me flip to this one. So the difference here, because obviously you're working with a smaller space, is that you're not getting the three columns you get per day in the seven by nine coiled version. You get lined and then to do's. Honestly, I prefer this layout. I wish this layout was in the coiled version. That's just my own personal preference, but I prefer the simplicity of this. I wouldn't really know what to do with this column in the coiled version. I'm sure there's tons of ideas out there, but I like this a heck of a lot better. So flipping through, it's just the same thing each week throughout the month. And then as you get to each month, you're gonna to get to the different color for the month, which is in like the traditional Erin Condren color. So September is purple. Uh, let's see, let's get to October. It's just, it's beautiful in this size. Not that the big one isn't beautiful, but I also feel like it's a little bit more vibrant. Now the paper is not exactly the same. Um, this is not the same 80 pound mohawk paper. I don't actually know the weight of this paper, but it's definitely not quite as thick as the coiled version, but I don't feel like it's very thin either. It's very good for a planner this size. So let's go all the way to the back of the planner. Now this is of course where the difference is gonna come in and it also comes down to personal preference. So at the back of the planner, in the coiled version, you can obviously add notes pages. There is no obviously adding notes pages to a bound book. You do get a few notes pages. You get one, two, 
let's see, three, four, five, six, six pages. And then you just have a title page here and then more of the mid-century circles pattern. Um, the outside, you do have the foiling. I believe I've seen the peacock already and it's the same thing. So if the cover is peacock, then you have the peacock foil all along the edge. It's very beautifully done. Of course, you guys know rose gold is not my preference, but this is very, very pretty. You do get a ribbon bookmark, I believe. Yes, you just get one ribbon bookmark there. Personally, I almost never use the ribbon bookmarks in books like this. I probably should, but this is really just a great size to carry around. I think that this would be great for someone who doesn't want to worry about carrying a much larger bag with this book. This could get kind of heavy. Um, some people don't prefer the coil. If you're left-handed, coils get in the way. Heck, sometimes if you're, even when you're right-handed, the coils also get in the way. So. This is definitely a great, great option for an academic planner. Now, the one thing that I would have a hard time with is I like changing out my covers. Obviously, you can change out your covers because Erin Condren makes interchangeable covers for their coiled planners, and you don't exactly have that option for this book. As I've said before, I've used the academic planner for work before. I think that this would also be great for work because sometimes this could be a little bit much for work. Again, it's large, it's seven by nine. Not nearly as large as some of the store-bought planners. I think most of them are like eight and a half by 11. Um, so this is a very nice option just again to have something that's a smaller profile. I think that this would make a great gift. And one of my favorite things is that this planner is $30. Yes, it's still pricey, but I think for $30, you're getting a lot for your money. It's got a beautiful cover that's gonna last all year. You're getting all of the same pages that you get in the coiled version in here, so it's smaller. You're not missing out on anything. I just, I think for $30, it's a very, very beautiful planner. I personally would prefer the Peacock version myself, <laughs> but I, I also really, really like um, the focused collection version as well. I love how simple and just neutral that whole planner is, but you guys, I can't get enough of the mid-century circles. That is just so beautiful. I think Erin um, Condren was just live on their Instagram and everyone was like, you know, if wanted mid-century circles to just be a forever pattern, like in the planner, all of that stuff, and I totally, totally agree. The pattern is just beautiful. I'm glad that they brought it over to the academic planner. I really would have loved to have seen this in the life planner, but you know, we can't get everything we want. <laughs> but um, again, these are $30. They are launching today, June 11th. So be sure to check out erincondren.com to go find one for yourself. Again, I think this would make a great gift. Um, if you guys have any questions at all about this planner or anything that I've mentioned this week on my channel, please be sure to ask down below in the comments. And if you are watching this video during the month of June 2020, I just want to remind you guys that I am donating all of my ad revenue to organizations that support the Black Lives Matter movement. I will also be updating you guys on which organizations I choose at the end of the month. So. I appreciate all of you guys just supporting that along here with me, commenting, watching, all of that stuff. I really, really appreciate you guys. All right, so that's everything for this video. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I hope that you will stick around and subscribe. If you have been here for a while, make sure that you turn on that notification bell so that you know when my videos are posted here on YouTube. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.